Hi guys, this is a quick overview of uh, Nikon's uh, 600mm AFS f4 ED VR2 lens. Um, it comes in this massive box. It says CT607 on the box. Um, and when you open it, lo and behold, the 600mm lens. Um, I've had it for a few days and used it in the past a few times and I'm just going to give you my impressions, how I felt, uh, um, how, the, how the lens felt, uh, speed, weight, operation, but for the full specs please refer to Nikon's website. Okay, here's the lens itself without the box, blaster hood, it comes with this carbon fibre uh, collapsible, very lightweight lens hood. If you're good at uh, solving the Rubik cube, you'll be able to put it together. Uh, it's a bit tricky, but it's possible. And the lens, it's it used to be Nikon's uh, big dog until the introduction of um, the 800 millimeter in 2012. Um, this is still a fa fairly popular lens for sports photographers, but uh, I think maybe the main purpose of using this is wildlife photography. Uh, this is a bit too chunky and heavy uh, for quick, quick maneuverability uh, when in sports photography, but I'm sure there are a few of you who, who do use it uh, for sports action. It is uh, pretty massive and, and heavy. The weight is just over 5 kilos. Um, and and the length is about 445 millimeters, so um, don't even dream about using it uh, without tripod or monopod. Um, <laughs> I tried and I failed. It is possible if there's a lot of sunshine and if you are incredibly strong, but uh, for a long action, for a longer job, you definitely need to take a tripod or a monopod with you. Uh, the price of the lens is about. Eight thousand pounds. You can buy it a bit cheaper. You can buy it uh, a bit for more, but uh, this is about the average price in the beginning of 2013 here in the UK. I think in the United States you'll be able to purchase it uh, significantly uh, cheaper. Okay, I've taken the camera off the tripod and zoom in a little bit so you can see the lens from different angles here's the massive front it has a great tripod collar with uh, the uh, three screw positions so you can adjust it um, accordingly to your needs a bit further to the front or, or to the back depending how heavy your camera is and other factors Here you can see the functions. On top you have a choice of auto focus slash manual and manual autofocus and manual functions. Um, you have an autofocus limiter you can set it on full or from 10 meters to infinity. Uh, the VR mode is, is a bit, uh, bit of a mystery to me. It says normal and tripod but I think uh, very few people will use it on the normal mode. Uh, you, you basically have to use it holding the lens and, and it's near impossible, it's so heavy. So uh, it's a bit of a mystery why the normal function is on, on the uh, VR mode. I uh, used it on, 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 on the tripod function, on tripods and monopods and it worked extremely well. Memory call and uh, the sound switch on and off. Turn it over. Here is the VR on and off function. And uh, just the description, the autofocus indicator and the description of the lens. There you can remove the filter.
There we go. Just have to press it a little bit firmly and replace it. I have um, used this lens on a, on top of a five-step ladder and plus the monopod on, on top of the ladder. So the VR function came in just handy. Uh, the VR2 uh, performs really brilliantly. I had uh, sharp pictures nine out of, nine out of ten times, uh, which, is a, which is very very impress and impressive. The subject was. Uh, quite far away and I still managed to um, get everything in autofocus. Uh, I was in the middle of a, of a big crowd pushed around the, land, the, the ladder was uh, knocked uh, from left and right and still the autofocus uh, was uh, functioning perfectly so um, big credit to the VR2 function Nikon has done a great um, job with it the speed of the autofocus is, is, is excellent. I think it's comparable with the 400 and 500 mm lens uh, autofocus speed. I've used all three of these lenses and uh, I think uh, the, the speed is, is impressive in all, all of them. The 600 won't disappoint you. Uh, in terms of sharpness, which is for me the most important thing with any lens, is, uh, is, is pretty excellent. I'd, I'd give it probably 9 out, out, out of 10 uh, for, the, for the sharpness. I think uh, it's not just as, as, as sharp as, as the 400mm lens. Uh, the 400mm is probably uh, the best, the 2.8 is the best out of the super telephoto, zoom, super telephoto lenses that Nikon offers, the 4, 5 and, and the 600 plus obviously the 800 but I don't have uh, any experience with the 800 mil yet uh, so I'd give it 9 out of 10 for the for the sharpness for comparison I will add uh, I'll put my 300 mil next to this lens so you can see how massive the 600 is this is the Three, uh, 300 millimeter 2.8 AFS2 lens. It's dwarfed by the 600 mil. Um, obviously, the weight is is, is also significantly uh, bigger on the on the 600 mil. So um, this is this is a lens that I would highly recommend if you can afford it, or if you can agency if you can convince your agency to buy it. This will perform really brilliantly. Uh, for wildlife photography. Uh, for sports, uh, I would prefer to use the 400 or 500 millimeter if I can. Uh, with sports, you're usually uh, closer to action anyway. You don't need a, a long lens like this. Uh, but you know there may be situations when when you do, and and the lens will will uh, uh, perform brilliantly. It's only your ability to train yourself and learn how to maneuver such a massive lens on a monopod or a tripod uh, effectively. Um, it is heavy, it is, it is very long and if you add the weight of the camera, if you add the D3, D3S or D4 or D800 to this lens, obviously you add length and weight. So um, I think with practice it is possible to use uh, the lens for sports action. But I would uh, I would use that um, personally for wildlife photography and and uh, photographing sort of news events which I did uh, that are uh, very difficult to to get close to. Um, I hope this this helps a little bit to give you an idea about this massive lens. And um, if you if you have any questions, please ask uh, post your questions uh, on on YouTube and I'll try to answer that. Uh, I haven't posted all the specifications. They are only uh, readily available on Nikon's um, website, so you can look them up. But uh, this is how the lens looks like. 
I'm not going to put my camera on it and, and do the autofocus test as, as on the other lens uh, in another video I did. Uh, it's just pretty difficult to, to, to maneuver effectively underneath this little camera I'm using, a Fuji F30, would you believe it? Uh, but you can see the, the, the lens itself. And I hope this little brief information will help you decide whether to purchase this or any other uh, telephoto lenses. Thanks for watching. Bye.